What you got there? Daddy Zapper. Daddy Zapper? I'm not gonna lie, I've actually seen some people use something like this in, in their RVs. I'm, I've been kind of curious about it. We know we get a lot of bugs and flies in RVs, so kind of an interesting thing to have to help with that problem. We do have our instinct bugs, so might be kind of a neat little item. I'd, I'd give it a shot for five bucks. What's going on guys? I was driving around down here in Texas and I passed this Harbor Freight Tools right here behind me. Now, I've never been to one of these. I've always wanted to go check one out. I've heard some interesting things about them. I guess the whole idea is it's supposed to be kind of uh, cheaper items, cheaper tools. I thought maybe a good idea, pop inside, do some filming, and see what kind of RV related items they have or if they have anything that's good for the RV lifestyle. I've done a similar video like this in the past where I went to Home Depot because I go to Home Depot and those all the time and I get supplies for RV life there and I share that with you guys. So I thought I'd go check this out and see what they have inside, if anything. So let's go do it. Lots of good storage boxes and organizers, you know? Yeah. It almost seems like a wider variety than other places I've seen, but a lot of nice little trays and different styles and cases and organizing everything, which living in the RV, all that comes in handy when you need to, you know, save space and stay organized, especially in the basement. These aren't too bad right here. You could easily mount these in your basement, put them on your basement floor, mount them to the wall get some you know, pretty good storage for all that loose stuff that we have laying around all the time. They even have a nice stackable one. I kind of have things like this in my basement and definitely helps out organizing and things like that. Mentioning all the storage stuff they have here and all the organizers, I saw some of these camera boxes and one thing I saw, I don't know who this was, I saw it I think, on Instagram, it was a neat modification. He actually bought two of these camera boxes and he put them right on the bumper of his RV. He got like a U-bracket and he mounted it to the bumper of his RV, you know, put some screws down on the top, some nuts to hold it on. And these were held on place on top of his RV bumper. And inside of it, he kept all of his sewer hose connection, all of the clear elbows and things like that, all the nasty things. Anyways, I thought that was a pretty neat idea, pretty neat modification. You're keeping all that stuff outside anyways, backed by your sewer hoses where they're all stored underneath in your bumper. So. I think for 10 bucks, that's kind of a neat idea and a modification I might actually try. So keep an eye out for that one. Looks like they do have a decent section of the flex seals and the um, goo gongs and the gorilla tapes and all that kind of stuff that we all need as our viewers in daily use. So it's kind of nice to see that. Um, prices seem, you know, decent, relatively good. So depending on your favorite product, it looks like they do have some stuff here that you can resort to for fixing all those leaks and problems that we all come across. And they do have some decent multimeters here for a pretty you know, cheap price. We're just looking for a basic entry level multimeter. Definitely recommend checking one of those out because sometimes, you know, like me, I just don't want to spend too much money on it. I'm only using it for like one or two things. Uh, personally, I, I don't get too deep into all the settings. So it looks like they have a decent selection and some decent prices here on those. Now here's kind of a unique item, and I've seen these in RVs before, but these magnetic screen doors, and again, this goes right with the bug problems and keeping flies and things out, but you can actually attach these to the top of your RV doors, and it's an easy way to go in and out. You know, we're always going in and out of these RVs so much. Kind of a nice way to keep the breeze in and keep the insects out. Jack stands are always good to have on hand. Video I just did, we talk about the two jack stands I keep in my toolbox. Carry, anytime you got to work on the RV, a little extra safety, or if you don't have hydraulic jacks, jack stands are going to come in handy. I do like traveling with two of these on hand. And they got some decent uh, heavy duty bottle jacks here as well. You guys know I carry a 12 ton bottle jack with me. So good prices. Well, more for checking out if you, you know, don't have one of those. I do prefer rubber wheel chocks like this versus the plastic ones. Um, that's what we use, some heavy duty rubber ones like that. So. They actually do have quite a good option in different kinds in here, so you can get some decent chalks in here. You know, fires, floods, things like that can be pretty common in RV life, unfortunately, and having something to protect your documents, money, important things like that, we have a safe in our RV, and something like this would come in handy. Uh, pretty small, not too heavy, can fit in a lot of places, under the bed, in the closet, so it's kind of neat that they have some pretty decent little safes here. Lots of bungees, tie-downs, 
straps and all that good stuff for securing things in the back of your truck, securing things in your basement. You're going to have some decent prices here, it looks like. They have the more heavy-duty kind, too. We have lots of things like this in our RV. We use them all the time. So a pretty good section of tie-downs, straps, and all that stuff for towing. Pretty impressive, actually. It's a, it's a pretty good selection to choose from and i can tell the prices are definitely a little bit lower than some of the other box stores d-ring anchors these things kick butt of course there's only two of them in this pack um we have these all over the basement use them for tie downs and other things like that i installed these on the wall of course for something like this i would re recommend going to amazon and i'll put a link down below to that we're actually got a whole bag of these so got about 10 or 15 i can't remember the price but you're gonna be better off doing that than paying three dollars for just two of these but these these do come in handy Actually, I use one of these on my RV. I don't use it for any electric cord reel though. I use one of these on my zero G hoses to roll up my zero G hose. So it's kind of neat that they have this. So you guys may recognize these from some of my previous videos. We actually have these, not this brand. We have the Reese ones from Reese. I think they're called the Reese Power Tower. This is pretty cool, not just for uh, conventional towing and backing up and hitching, but also for fifth wheel or using a gooseneck like I do. I even modified my truck so when these fits in the bottom in the bed of my truck so I can perfectly back up. So this is a good buy right here. This is gonna be a little bit cheaper than what I got it for. And they also have a decent selection of uh, like conventional tow hitches and balls and things like that. Not exactly fifth wheel hitches, but obviously they have some conventional standard hitches here. And a little bit of a lower price and you may see B and W hitches, say those are Home Depot. Sometimes gloves can be expensive. These are pretty cheap. 12 bucks for 100 medium duty. So these hold up. I'm actually going to grab a box of these on the way out and see how they do. This kind of neat little section too. It's just very basic, but if you want to just make kind of a quick little uh, kit for your truck, I just talked about this in a video that I did on how we keep fire extinguishers, I keep ponchos. We keep all this stuff in our truck. And then if you have to change a tire, there's the orange safety vest, things like that. They even have uh, tread tape right here for your stairs so you don't slip. We have the carpet on our stairs, but it's a quick little neat section. Everything's pretty cheap. Some basic stuff. You can kind of make a quick little uh, RV and kit for your truck. Okay, guys, so just a quick little tour, my first tour into a Harbor Freight. Um, I wasn't too sure what to expect. It's obviously not like a um, box store where you can go in and get building supplies. I didn't know if they'd really have like a, a plumbing section or any kind of woodworking section. So it, it's mostly just tools. You're not going to find any kind of, you know, piping and plumbing, like I said, or any kind of like, I didn't really see any kind of like silicones or sealants, roof sealants or anything like that. But if you're looking for some like cheaper basic tools that you just don't want to spend a lot of money on, you know, we're not talking about getting Milwaukee drills and things like that. So a place I may check out, of course, you know, it's not something I may start buying tools from, but I would probably get a basic hammer there because again, I'm not too, you know, concerned with the quality or brand name of my hammer. Guys, as always, appreciate you stopping by, checking out the channel, and we will see you guys next week.